Recently, we talked to Kathy Rue. She supported abolishing the word mailman. Um, instead of mailman, it would be mail carrier. So there's many ways to go around it. But so, mail um, carrier still has mail in it. So you have an, it's kind of a fake. Oh, but that's a judge. Or package I mean, carrier. Well, I mean, wait, we can on. come up with so many other terms uh, that are I'm less saying. offensive. Yeah. You might still offend dyslexics. You can change a vowel, but it sounds the same. It has that dreaded word that sends people shrieking for their safe spaces, mail. Well, a Belgian man has been convicted of a dastardly crime. He's being ordered to pay almost $4,000. What did he do? He said something sexist, and Belgium has a law against that. It criminalizes phrases that, quote, express contempt for women. Now that law has been put to use for the first time. Kathy Aru is founding publisher of Catalina Magazine. She's our Sherpa into progressive America. She thinks this might not be a bad idea for our country, and she joins us tonight. Kathy, great to see you. Hi, good to see you. So you think that we could learn something from Belgium, that yeah. maybe we should criminalize sexist speech. Yes. Would we also criminalize sexist thought? I'm just trying to get the parameters here. I would say sexist speech and sexist thought is hateful speech and hateful thought and people with those hateful thoughts go on to commit hateful crimes. So okay. yeah, why don't we nip it in the bud and stop these guys from continuing to go further and committing violent crimes. Okay, so yeah. we're going to create a new class of thought crime. Um, but you said, guys, would it ever conceivably apply to women? I was watching The Bachelor the other night, which is obviously an yeah. hour-long exploitation of, of women. Hard to think of a more sexist spectacle than that. Um, and a lot of the producers are women. So would they be up for sexism charges in your world? Absolutely not. You know that, that women as a minority in this country, even though we are the majority, we're still the minority because white men are in charge. And okay. it's hard to be a sexist and put the majority down when you're still considered the minority. So, okay. no, women cannot be sexist. We're, no, we, we are the victims of sexism. But what if, they, what if you were like Anna Winter? Okay, and you had a magazine yep. wholly devoted to exploiting women's bodies and basically encouraging eating disorders. Because you're a woman, you still would not be sexist? Um, well, that's an industry that uh, makes a living off of those things. And believe it or not, the highest paid people, women in the world, are models. So unfortunately, the only way that women could make more money than men are through modeling and through these magazines. So she actually did a favor to women by showing them in these magazines and wow. helping women make more than men. So sadly. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, sadly. So sexist speech and sexist thought will be criminalized. Yeah, because um, it's hateful. In the Republic of Kathy Aru. What would the punishment be? Would these be misdemeanors or felonies? Well, I mean, I think these men would move on to do uh, commit crimes. So shouldn't we nip it in the bud? Shouldn't we listen to people when they're saying hateful things and get them right when they're saying these sexist comments? Right. And yeah, make it a felony. Put them away. Make them learn their lesson. And when they come out, they'll be better people. So teach them a lesson. Maybe they would come out as sad and broken people. Would that bother you? I don't think they'd be. Well, if they're not um, hurtful and violent, I, 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 it would not upset me if they're sad. No. I mean, they're sad, but they're not um, aggressive and violent. So, so huh. be it. Yeah. How would, uh, since sexist thought would be illegal, how would we sexist determine? Sexist language, not right. thought, language. Okay. What, can we define sexist? So, like, for example, is it... Hurtful to women. Hurtful, hurtful to women, yes. right. But yep. all women don't have the same standard for what's hurtful. So, for example, is it sexist to open a door for a woman? Or is it sexist not to open a door for a woman? I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. I think if a woman is offended, uh, then, yeah, it might be the wrong thing to do. So sexism, it, it, it's hard to tell, but women who are aware of it feel it, understand it. And um, yeah, sexism is alive and well. And those of us who realize it want an end to it. We want to be treated equally. Right. So yeah, we have to teach these people that that is wrong. And this person in Belgium did call this police person, this police officer, uh, better suited for another job because this was a, a woman. It was a police officer, and that was oh. sexist. The things he said were awful, so, and he uh, should be well, put away. Well, speaking of, right, well, it sounds yeah. like he's being punished. Yeah, he finally, being punished. I mean, so yeah. if we're creating a whole new class of crime, obviously we're repealing the First Amendment and 250 years of tradition in order to do it. But well, whatever, it's Belgium. It's not their amendment. No, but I'm just saying if it were here, but, you know, it, you, right. to make an omelet, you break some eggs. So, but we'd also need to hire a whole new class of law enforcement, obviously, to enforce these laws, kind of like the Saudis do. What, what would that be like? Where would there be 
speech police in public places? Could they come into your home? Like, how would you do this? Well, this country already has it. There are profanity laws. So this country's had laws that are about 100 years old. They're according to municipalities and according to different states. You can't say bad words in public within uh, an officer or a children's earshot. So mm -hmm. we already have those kind of laws in this country. So why not reintroduce the profanity laws with sexism laws and move on from words that offend to actions and, um, and concepts that offend? And that are violent. What's going to happen to rap music? Rap music? Well, I think teenagers are going to continue to enjoy it, and, te and parents are going to continue to hate it, and hopefully the rap stars will um, learn to rap about nicer things and not teach such hatred. Yeah, they better. They're going to be in Kathy Roo prison.